Well, him and uh, 14 other dogs, there's never a dull moment. My day starts about 3.30 in the morning. I get up, I feed them, and we all sit and watch TV together. <laughs> well, Basil uh, is six months old now. He was born in August. He uh, nursed naturally with his with the uh, dam, but uh, when he when we weaned him, he uh, would eat food and he would get a distressed look on his face and he regurgitate. And I took him to our vet down in Westminster, and they diagnosed mega esophagus. They said this we're going to put a needle in him, put him down because he would uh, eventually. Uh, aspirate his food, he developed pneumonia and died. One of the blood vessels coming off the heart was coming off in the wrong place and it was actually wrapping around his esophagus, which is uh, the food tube which carries food from the mouth and the stomach. And this was preventing him from swallowing normally. My wife Johanna looked at me and said, Brent, are you ready for this? And I said, hell no. We used to have to make large incisions into the chest or the abdominal cavity to do uh, surgery on the lungs or on the heart. Um, now I'm able to use instruments that require only holes the size of a pencil. So where you take an incision down from eight inches, six inches, and bring it down to a half of a centimeter. So by putting small incisions like that in, we can reduce the pain, we can reduce uh, the amount of uh, trauma that it does. We can actually have a faster recovery. So all in all, we're doing the exact same techniques that are happening in human surgery, except we're doing them now on companion animals. Now my wife and I brought Basil up. Dr. Runge looked at him and said he's a good candidate for the surgery that's offered here. And uh, we arranged, I brought him up on a Sunday and uh, surgery was done on Monday and I took him home on Wednesday. And the dog went on to do very well, so we feel that the, the, the minimally invasive operating room enabled this to happen and we would have otherwise not been able to do this um, previously with our other operating rooms. I think he's a, I think he's a happy boy and, he, and he, he owes his happiness to Dr. Runs and Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine. I'm very, very happy.